some natural phenomena. All of you have seen so many natural phenomena like volcanic eruptions, cyclones, storms, lightning, earthquakes, and erosion. Let us investigate what is a natural phenomenon. A natural phenomenon is a non-artificial event in the physical sense and is not produced by humans. In this chapter, we will discuss two natural phenomenon lightning and earthquakes in detail. Let us first discuss lightning and how it is caused. You might have seen the spark on an electric pole when wires become loose due to blowing of wind and spark when a plug is loose in the socket. Lightning is also kind of electric spark on a large scale. It is one of the most powerful, unpredictable and dangerous of all natural phenomena. In the ancient times, people did not know the real cause of these sparks. They thought that the wrath of gods was visiting them, so they were afraid of lightning. But now we know that lightning actually is a discharge of atmospheric electricity which is due to accumulation of charges within a cloud. Lightning bolts travel at speeds of up to 60,000 miles per second and the average length of a single lightning bolt is 2 to 3 miles. In 600 BC, the ancient Greek philosopher Thales knew that when amber was rubbed with fur, it attracted bits of paper and other light objects like hair. Many other substances have the same property and can be electrified by rubbing. The kind of electrification positive or negative depends on the substances used. When you take off your woolen or polyester clothes, your hair will stand on end. If you take off these clothes in dark, you will see spark and hearing a crackling sound. You have found sometimes that if you shuffle across a carpet, then touch a metal door handle, a spark jumps from your hand to the handle, giving you a small shock. Benjamin Franklin, an American scientist in 1752, showed that lightning and spark from your clothes are the same phenomena. We shall now study some properties of electric charges and how they are related to lightning. Charging by rubbing You must have seen that when you rub a plastic scale on your hair, the scale can attract very small pieces of paper. Plastic scale becomes charged when rubbed on hair. Let us perform another activity to see that charges are produced by rubbing. This activity shows blown balloons become charged when rubbed with hair.
take a balloon and rub it on your hair and you will see that your hair and the balloon attract when the rubbing is over. The reason is that when balloon is rubbed on your hair, the balloon and your hair become charged. This charging process occurs as electrons are transferred from the hair to the balloon. These objects are called charged objects. Similarly, when a plastic scale is rubbed with hair, it acquires a small charge, due to which the scale can attract very small pieces of paper. Now, let us study about the various types of charges and their interaction. Let us perform an activity to find repulsion and attraction of different materials when they are rubbed with some other materials. Take two balloons and inflate them. Hang them in such a way that they do not touch each other. Rub both the balloons with a woolen cloth and release them. What do you observe? You will see that both the balloons repel each other. Now, let us take two plastic scales. Rub the plastic scales with polythene. Place it in a glass tumbler using the tumbler as a stand. Now bring the charged scales close to each other. Be careful not to touch the charged end with your hand. Let us see what will happen. We see that two charged plastic scales repel each other. In both the above activities, we brought two similar charged objects close to each other. Let us find out what happens if two charged objects made of different materials are brought close to each other. Take a plastic scale and rub it with polythene and place it in a glass tumbler. Now, bring an inflated charged balloon near the scale. You will observe that they attract each other. So, we see that the two charged balloons repel each other. The two charged plastic scales repel each other. The charged plastic scale and balloon attract each other. This indicates that charges on both the plastic scale and balloon are of different types. Thus, we can say that there are two kinds of charges, positive and negative. Same kind of charges repel each other while charges of different kind attract each other. Let us study how charges got transferred. An electroscope is a scientific instrument that is used to detect the presence and magnitude of electric charge a static electricity on a body. Static electricity or an electric charge is caused by friction between the surfaces of bodies. 